And welcome back. This is Bello Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is QL Mindless. I assume QL is a clan name, but I don't know the clan names. But anyways, QL Mindless is first in his platinum division, Fell's Gravity. He has 3,095 points, 1,054 wins, and 1,037 losses. This guy plays a lot. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against QL Mindless. He is the red Protoss player in the Southwest. The map is good old Zelnaga Caverns. No new map today. Um, yeah, just, just good old Zelnaga Caverns. And as you can see, he's getting a lot of work done with that 100 APM that he had to stop in order to actually do something. I, I don't know why that bothers me so much, but, you know, this, 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 this does nothing. I don't, I don't know why everybody at the platinum, at the high tier platinum and diamond players, they all seem to do it. But I, I just don't know why. Um, I think I heard HD say that he liked to do it because it got him prepped to do other work. You know, it got, it got him in the mode to play, and I'm like, you know what gets me in the mode to play? Playing. Yeah, whatever. So his probe comes right in my base. He realizes, oh, that's the scouting probe. Yeah, he's in there pretty early. So I'm immediately taking one of my guys off the line. Is he going to let me finish him? Because almost guaranteed that the probe will lose because I attacked first. 30. Yeah, he's only got 15 life left. But he will regenerate shields the longer that he runs away. Meanwhile, he is going for the gateway inside his base. My barracks is first once again, so all that APM, as you can see, it's still up there. They're not really getting stuff done. You know? Second pylon on the way. Once again, standard, standard, standard. Assimilator is coming up. That is, as far as I can tell, standard timing on that. Once again, I don't know all the timings down for all the other races. I need to take one of these SCVs off this guy. You know, I love chasing down probes just as much as the next guy, but only one of you at a time, please. So he is going to leave the base here. Uh, leaves with 13 HP. Uh, I am going for the second racks. As you can see, I am not going for the assimilator or the refinery, whichever one I get. Uh, so once again, we should be seeing two racks expansion. Yeah, like I said, I've been going for it a lot lately. Three racks just isn't cutting it for me anymore. Almost every map that we've played on lately is one of those long maps or one of the four player maps. Have these things always been here? Did they, did they change the map? It looks like they did. I'm still getting scouting done inside his base. He's chrono boosting that first stalker. It is still a while away. As you can see, it, it's going a little bit fast there. Because it is chrono boosted, continuing to produce probes. I am going for the bunker out in front, going for the expansion. And as you can see, I'm still pretty high on minerals. Yeah, I need to get that gas sooner. Gas is important. Continuing to produce, though, that, that is always important. You gotta keep that up. If you don't keep that up, you will lose. I guarantee you. Every time. I'm like the men's warehouse guy. I guarantee it. Twilight Council is on the way. And considering we don't see a single zealot on the field, I assume that these guys will get blink. That's just my first thought. Bunker is fully loaded, command center on the way. Put the marine over there, pretty much because I, I want to make sure that nothing comes around the back there. Uh, it, it's rare for some for players to go around the back because it is so narrow right there, but it has happened, and I don't want it to happen. The stalker is in the worst possible spot, just off the Zelnaga Tower, so he can't actually use it, and as a result, he can't really see much of anything out there. Blink is being researched. It looks like it was being chrono boosted. It just stopped. 
Now Warp Gate is being Chrono Boosted, even though it was so close to done that most of that Chrono Boost will go to waste. And Stalker coming in to see what's going on. He doesn't look doesn't look like he got much of any work done in terms of damage, but he did get work done in terms of scouting, so he does see my expansion. He's on 3 gate. He needs his expansion if he wants to catch up. As you can see, I am not doing a good job on this build right now. You know, 700 minerals at the 7 minute mark. That is not where you want to be. So I'm trying to get 5 racks up here as I'm getting all the add-ons on all my barracks. Five stalkers are on their way. Go into my base. He wants to put pressure on me. That is what you need to do when you find out that your opponent goes for the early expansion. Because I should have the lead in the economy. I do. I even have more harvesters than he does. And this thing just finished. Um, that's because, you know, Protoss players should be ahead because of the chrono boosting. But he's not doing that. He's instead focusing on these blink stalkers. And blink is finished. Uh, so it looks like he's just going to be focusing on the proxy pylons here. He is doing the blink micro, uh, doing a good job of it too. Um, but now that all my marines are out of the bunker, um, I'm pretty much just set on letting them uh, do whatever they want to do. Uh, five stalkers are left here. He did take out my supply depot. It does not supply lock me, and he retreats to the proxy pylon. I do have my first Marauders out that they will definitely help me. These things are definitely new. What are these things? They're like little glow worms. Which I guess is kind of cool because it is a cavern, but glow worms only grow under sea, man. I'm no biologist, but I do know that. As far as I know, there are no such thing as glow worms in a cave. Unable to save. All his stalkers, looks like he started falling apart in the blink micro. Uh, but he just blinks on out of there. Once again, I don't know why. I mean, he's got seven stalkers as opposed to my four marauders. But he left, you know? Uh, I'm continuing to produce the marines and marauders. As you can see, it is not doing enough for me there. I need uh, the second refinery, which is up. I should be thinking about getting the third and the fourth right now. Uh, my, I now have two barracks up. Uh, trying to blink out, or he blinks in, which is not a smart idea here. Uh, blinks in right into the range of the bunkers, uh, so he should be retreating now. Uh, he retreats once again back to the proxy pylon. Meanwhile, he is finally going for his expansion. It just finished right there, uh, but I have a huge lead in the harvester count and the income. Look at that. I have double his minerals, and we're even on gas, and now it looks like I'm going to be getting ahead on gas. So, yeah, you don't, you don't want to stick, as you can see, he's doing a good job here, of not just sticking with the pressure that he knows isn't working as well as he would probably like. So he is going to go for the expansion. This probe needs to move. Um, he transferred a shit ton of probes. Um, he's only got eight left here. That's, that's one for mineral patch. Uh, no, he's up to 10 now. But still, man, that is way too many probes. Um, yeah, there's there's no reason to transfer that many this early. It looks like I am supply locked. Oh, so, you know, looks like they're not even close to being done. Now there's one being done. Once again, huge production line uh, going for three upgrades all at the same time. Marines, Marauders. I need more Marines and more Marauders. Look, look. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's due to the supply lock, so I am going for two guys on supply now. Um, he decides he wants to move in with his army, so I'm trying to move these guys out. Uh, once again, no stim pack for these guys. That is, I kept on trying to do it, man. You know, I kept, uh, it's just a force of habit. Just like, oh, they're here, stim. I don't have stim. That is different. Um, and once again, he kind of chickens out mid-attack. So, yeah, I mean, he had six stalkers left. Now four zealots. You know, they could have gotten some work done. They might have not finished, but uh, six stalkers could have held off until those four zealots were inside um, trying to get some work. And, you know. But no, he's, he's just going to sacrifice them. Uh, 
I, I, I don't understand, to be honest with you. He knows he needs to get pressure done. He knows that, oh, this is, this is awful. Isn't it? Oh my gosh, I, I cannot keep up on, on three, ra on uh, two racks expansions. Um, yeah, I'm up to five base, one engineering bay. This needs to get researched. I'm trying to get the factories, but as you can see, I have a ton of minerals. Uh, but I feel like since I, I went for the early expansion, and he's kept me in pressure that he probably has his expansion up now. He does, so I need to get the third. So that is what I'm going to be working on now. So let's give me more minerals that I cannot spend. Oh my gosh. I'm not even producing uh, SCVs anymore. I need to be doing that. I uh, need to get some star ports. I'm getting the armory instead uh, so I can get the upgrades on the engineering base. But yeah, going for the command center here. Look at that. You know, one pylon as opposed to the whole list of things that I'm going for here. He is still completely outclassing me here. Um, but, yeah, looking at the units lost, I'm ahead in that. Really. Uh, looking at the spending, I'm ahead across the board. But, yeah, this is the one that, that shocks me here. Uh, he does have the pylon in around the back of his base. I did think of that, you know, going around the back here. To, to try to be sneaky, but, you know, players, man, the players that I've been playing up against uh, do think of that stuff, as I did, uh, but he destroyed that supply depot, and, um, yeah, I never got bothered, bothered getting that back up. I am going for a siege tank and siege tech, uh, going for two star ports here, um, and they're finally starting to catch up in minerals, not so much the gas, I would love the gas to be a lot lower than that right now. Uh, he is researching charge, getting Colossus out as well. This needs to transform right now. You need to be a planetary fortress. I don't, I don't need more mules. You know, I can guarantee you that. The first observer is out on the field. Doesn't look like that that, that finished until just then. Um, I don't know if I spied that. It's right in the middle of my army, and it's kind of hard to see that right when it's in the middle. Um, you know, can you guys see it? I can't see it right now and I, you know this is pre root YouTube rendering if I can't see it you guys can't see it so he does know that I have this massive ball right there and he's got pretty much nothing looking at the army count yeah you know I've got almost double his army right now uh, looking at the units yeah 28 Marauders 41 Marines a Colossus six stalkers three centuries and 14 zealots you tell me which which is a bigger army at that point but he's trying to get his third base because I went for my third. And I'm really at this point, I'm, I'm set on just waiting until I get maxed out here. And as you can see, I'm pretty close. i um, going for weapons level 1 on the vehicles, weapons level 2 on the infantry. I uh, need to be going for armor level 2 as well. But yeah, um, when they're on two different... Uh, timings like that, I, I tend to forget. Uh, getting medevacs as well, uh, not because I wanted to go for medevac drops, but because I need to get some healing done. That's the primary purpose of them right now. I know that I probably have the larger army. But yeah, look at that, 2,500, 1,000. That is far too many. I am getting seven. I have eight racks right now, and now I'm maxed out, so now I'm going to move. He doesn't have anything that's the Zelnaga Tower, but he does have, his, have an Observer, so he doesn't really need the Zelnaga Tower anymore. That's 2,000, 1,000. Uh, moving in, stimming everybody up because everybody's getting shot in. Moving in, not even bother trying to snipe anything. Uh, I just know that I have this massive Maria Marauder Ball. Um, he's trying to run the, the Colossus away, so I'm stimming up so I can get in range of him. Um, there we go, stimming, and then instantly taking him out. He does have another Colossus out, uh, but now that my Medivac is in range, I should be able to get that damage done as well. And no, oh, he's doing some fancy, uh, fancy pageant, pageant walking. Oh, I failed at a reference. Oh, that sucks. Um, Colossus is just kind of hanging out anywhere else. Uh, so I'm going in, taking out all the pylons. As you can see, I've taken out all the warp gates. I need to be going here, taking out uh, the robotic facilities. 
Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty much game right here. Um, yeah, these siege tanks, I sieged them up, never bothered getting them back around to them. Um, almost maxed out still. Uh, 4,500, 1,300. Wow. And there we go, he leaves the game. No GG. Would have loved a GG, but I didn't get it. Uh, so yeah, I kind of showed this one um, because it was a longer game and that right there. So it shows that even though I kind of know what I'm doing, you know, there's still a lot of room for improvement here. Um, you know, I'm not really maxed out yet. Uh, let's look at my hotkeys here. Uh, still not producing as much as I could. Look at that. Three reactors, five tech labs. Uh, just one factory and two starports, but... Um, yeah, I know what works for me. Um, I, I did finally start um, armor level 2, but I did not get weapons level 3 started. Uh, never got anything out of here. Uh, just siege tech out of here because that was all I was doing. All these guys have nothing to do. Uh, am I oversaturated here? I'm going to say yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's still pretty oversaturated. Uh, undersaturated here. Could have gone for a fourth base, gone for even more, but... Yeah, what what do you do when you hit 200? You just let that thing pile up, apparently. Uh, so, Massive Marina Marauder Ball wins it once again for me. Uh, did I lose that medevac? Yeah, it looks like I did. This guy wasn't the one, uh, but I'm starting to move these guys down here. Uh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Which one was it? No. It was... Yeah, there we go. Nice. That probe... Didn't see that tank coming. Five kills, two kills, three kills. Are you kidding me? This guy has no kills. This guy sucks. Yeah, um, none of these guys are going to have very many kills. Uh, the tank is what did all the damage for me. Uh, these guys, you know, there's just too many of them those kills are going to be spread out. But yeah, I love this game, not necessarily because of how I play it. As you can see, I didn't do that well, but because I out macroed somebody from pretty much beginning to end. Um, I, I kept my cool even though he was uh, harassing me pretty much for the first 10 minutes of the game. Um, and then this shows how that risk pays off in the end. You know, I'm on three base, he's on two. And I have this huge army that he just didn't have, and that completely, absolutely destroyed him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Sorry I rambled at the end there. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.